uh, hello and uh, welcome everyone so in this video we will talk about uh, the split and the sort function or the join function okay so these are the things we are going to talk about split join and maybe short okay so this is the variable I created now I'm doing a split so uh, first I will talk about basic sample So this is a string I created. When you do x dot split and you pass nothing, you just pass this, then it is going to give you the array, right? And consider if you are having a string a complete sentence, right? And then you are going to give a split based on the space. Then what it will do, it will create uh, the array of three string i and term because you provided a space. So your space is the split criteria you have already provided so it will split the string based on the, the split criteria you specified similarly like i have a string uh, which is having the comma now you can just specify the comma it will split based on this criteria you can see i got all these three strings now after the split we can also sort this because now you have the array right now you can play around the array and now it is it is sorted based on the first character of the strings we have so this will give us the array of strings because this is a string this is a sentence a normal string now we did a split based on the space criteria so it will give us the three string and then it is also doing the sorting on top of it so it will apply the sorting there right so this is a splice and splice is you can see the powerful or you can see whatever the splitter you are putting you can split based on that right so like i'm putting this splitter then uh, i can pass this so it will split based on that only and i'm doing a shorting also on that so this is how we do it now after sorting you wanted to join also this then there is a method join based on a uh, particular thing right uh, I wanted to join it back with the same character right so what I did I did a sorting I did a first convert the string into the string array then did, did the sorting then again converted back it to the string with a join so consider you wanted to do the reverse reverse as string how you can do that so what you need to do for uh, a string is equal to right now you wanted to reverse it so str so split based on simple base criteria dot now it's array you can do reverse and then you can do the join right let's see this here so i created this variable here str dot split so what i got i got this array right dot reverse so what i got it has reversed the thing and then you can join it back so you got your original array original string right so this is how we can do the reverse of a string in the basic words right so what it does first what we did str dot split so it will create an array of these characters and blah 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 now what you did you did the reverse reverse will obviously will reverse this array you will get a um, and the remaining characters right then when you do the join it will join it and it will give you the final string in the reverse order whatever we have the left part right so this is the magic of uh, string split and reverse 
you can split based on some criteria like you can pass the the comma use some word some symbol and based on that it will split that particular string into an array then you do the reverse you do the sorting you you can apply all the array prototype methods onto the array because now you have converted the string into the array right so split is convert the array into the string and join will revert it back to the string 